Yep, that's the podium here at the Mexico Grand Prix, aching to be filled by three drivers this coming Sunday. Stephen Casey here in Mexico, very excited about said Grand Prix. Here we are, turn 13, uh, amongst the stadium, which I believe holds about, help me out, how many people? 26,000. 26,000 people, extraordinary. And what could those people uh, expect or hope to see this coming Sunday? Well, you'd have to say that Mercedes once again arrived here as favourites. They, they were utterly yep. dominant last year when we came to Mexico. And again, you know, the season has got all the ingredients for that. But um, it, it's a must-win race for Lewis Hamilton yet again. Yep. You know, he's got a, we, we know going down to Abu Dhabi that is hugely important for him. Uh, Rosberg comes here with a chance of becoming world champion. If Lewis doesn't win, finishes 10th or, or an, below, basically a yep. non-finish, and Rosberg wins it, he will be world champion by Sunday night. So it's, um, it's, it's getting to that end of the season now where really every single Sunday is hugely important. They all add up, you know, they both, of whether we're in Melbourne, Mexico or Abu Dhabi, the points are still the same. But, but because we're getting to this end of the season now, I think the, the mm. pressure and the mathematics start to come into play a bit more. Well, I think I speak for everybody when I say we want that jeopardy, that final oh, race yeah, in Abu Dhabi. We want a straight, yeah. you know, shootout between Nico and Lewis. Yeah, you kind of want to win it takes all, don't you? You want the so math good. to work out in, um, you know, Mexico and Brazil mm. in a way that we almost have a, a winner takes all. Whoever wins the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix wins oh. the World Championship. That, that's what you ideally want. Yeah. I'm sure that's what Bernie wants, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that, that's but what we'll get. we are in agreement. Uh, let me ask you this. I hear Red Bull are doing a rain dance. They're hoping there might be a bit of a, a, a bit of a drop on uh, on Sunday. Yeah, there is some forecast for rain. Yeah. Um, they're hoping for it, but we'll wait and see. I mean, uh, it, it's it's quite changeable up here in this in this high altitude. Seven thousand feet above sea level. Quickly, how does that affect the drivers and the cars? Well, you're seven thousand six and a half feet or something. I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. not. <laughs> uh, but the, the thinner air, you know, with the turbo engines, is not so much of a problem anymore. They compensate for that. The thinner air does make it tricky in terms of downforce because you haven't got as much air passing over mm. the bodywork. It makes it a little bit tricky in the slipstream as well because the car in front isn't cutting quite as big a hole through through the air. Yeah. And if you look at you know the start finish straight behind us, it's a massive run between the last corner down to turn one. So um, it will have an effect on the drivers. All right. Thank you, Casey. Less talky talky. More racy racy. Join us live this Saturday at 6 p.m. here in Channel 4. And then the same time on Sunday, you're in Channel 4 live, 6 p.m. Myself, KC, Eddie, DC, Lee McKenzie, Ben Edwards, we're all there. See you later. You're going to stop now, cameraman? How far are you going? I dare you to go further. I dare you. I oh, stopped. Chicken. <laughs>